how many stew it's on the stove i mean i think it's ready we just have a couple other things that we need to Chow. share mm -hmm. so what i'm going to do now is this lovely bouquet of cilantro okay so i'm just going to pull a big hunk of this out i've got it sitting in a little water very much like a bouquet of flowers you can just sit this right in the fridge like this and it keeps nicely if you don't want to set that in the fridge, you can always um, wrap a paper towel around it, put it in a plastic bag that is not sealed, uh, put it in your um, crisper, and it's going to keep your herbs a whole bunch longer. Uh, keeps away excess moisture from the leaves, which is what rots it and makes it bad. All right, so I'm a little cilantro trick here. Get some of the stems out of the way. So I just take my sharp knife, just kind of shave it off. It gets mostly yeah. the leaves. It's a pretty good little trick. trick. Um, you're going to get some stems in there, but they're usually the smaller ones, so you're fine. So just kind of get in there after it. If you're quite frugal and need every leaf or you're running short on cilantro, then you can go back afterwards and kind of open this up and start to pick them out. Right, as one might normally do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, a little more time consuming. I've got a ton of cilantro. We're not going to worry about all that right now. I kind of look at it. Are there any really big stems here that are going to... Yeah, Make me feel like I'm eating hay. Don't like that. No hay. No hay hay. So that's pretty good. Okay. Ooh, maybe this is a good time to show you the uh, Ulu knife again. Let's do it. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I haven't lost her from our stones. Here we go. Very sharp little knife. The Ulu knife from Alaska. I think my Alaska uh, peeps are actually not watching us anymore. I think they had to sign off with the, the Ulu knife from Alaska. And it's really super cool. You can take it and just rock it through. And you get really fine little pieces. I have not learned all of the tricks of the Ulu knife. I probably need to jump on YouTube or something and see. I know that there's like these things come with videos and there's all these techniques, but this is pretty easy. I was, mm -hmm. I was telling somebody last time we used it, um, like if you have uh, parents or grandparents or uncles or aunts that are a little older and have arthritis and they have a hard time with the knife uh, and how you grip the knife this makes this particular tool makes it really easy to do if you're just doing a little bit of chopping and don't want to drag out said Cuisinart or whatever which I think cilantro and Cuisinart would just be a big green mess when you were done I'm just not sure I'm not sure that's the way to go even if you were so really tender herbs any herbs look at that I mean that didn't take but just a second um, this is nice. All right. Make this cilantro. Mm -hmm. We're just going to move this out of the way so 